Welcome to our Power Probe Hook Fast Start video. I'm Jeff, CEO here at Power Probe. The purpose of this video is to quickly familiarize you with some awesome features of the Power Probe Hook so you can start using it immediately. Now, this video is not meant as a replacement of the Power Probe Hook instruction manual, so please read your manual before using the Power Probe Hook. You made a smart investment in a tool that's designed to help you diagnose with power and speed. I'm going to show you some unique combination of features not found in any other tool. This will help you fix vehicles a lot faster. Now before we proceed, please understand that what you have in your hand is a power probe. A major feature of the power probe is to provide battery power to the tip by pressing the power button. So you can activate electrical circuits and components to test their functionality. Now that being said, you need to understand exactly what circuit you're providing power to. Don't press the power switch when you're probing sensitive electronic computer circuits or airbag systems. These circuits are meant to be measured only, and the power probe hook will do a very good job of that. Now that we made that clear, let's proceed. First, connect the power probe hook to the vehicle's battery. You can connect onto voltage sources ranging from 12 to 48 volts DC. Black clip to negative and red clip to positive. Now that sound means that you're now in power probe hook mode, which is the main mode of the power probe hook. Let's take a look at the display. Now battery source voltage is displayed on the bottom. The preference line is displayed on the top. Take note of the speaker symbol 20 M 50.5. The circuit breaker is set to trip at 20 amps. The power switch is set to momentary. The AC threshold is set to 50 volts. The LED voltage drop is set to 0.5. These parameters are default from the factory, but all preferences can be customized and saved. We'll cover the preferences more in detail as we go through the features. Now let's get familiar with the five position switch. The up button with the positive sign supplies source battery power to the probe tip so you can activate electrical components right in the vehicle. The down button with the negative sign supplies battery ground to the probe tip so you can provide a redundant ground to your circuits. Pressing the left button will turn the audible tone on or off. Here you can see the speaker symbol in the display which means the tone is on. Its standard 4mm banana jack tip holder will accommodate Power Probe's 10 gauge Gold Series leads and other standard leads and accessories. The Power Probe Hook Smart Tip Advantage selects the correct meter and range just by contacting the probe tip to a circuit. Now watch the meter as we probe a circuit with voltage on it. It instantly becomes a voltmeter and displays a reading within 100 millivolts it will measure up to 99.9 .9 volts. Now watch what happens when we probe ground. The hook automatically becomes an ohm meter and measures from 0 to 15 mega ohms. Here's another powerful feature that breaks barriers. Check this out. Let's connect the auxiliary ground lead to the negative side of these fans. As we probe the fan motors, you can read passive resistance of the motor windings. But watch what happens when I press the power switch to activate it. The power probe hook just exceeded the 20 amp circuit breaker setting. That's not a problem. Let's just set the circuit breaker to 65 amps. Pay attention guys, because this will go fast. Press select and then the right button. Increase it to 25, 30, 40, 50, to 65. Press select again. You have now set the circuit breaker preferences to 65 amps and can see the setting in the display. Now when you press the power switch, the hook will deliver 65 amps with an inrush of 100 amps. Let's power up the fans again. Take a look at the display now. It just became an ammeter and is showing you the motor's current draw in amps. 
Notice the calculated resistance in ohms on the bottom line. The power probe hook measures resistance of a load while it's activated. Now, what does all that mean? That simply means you are able to test for voltage, test resistance, activate an electrical component, and measure its current draw and calculated resistance all at the same time. Did you notice that we didn't have to connect additional leads, switch knobs, or run for an ammeter? The hook can activate components up to 100 amps in rush and can hold 25 amps continuous power to your circuit. Now, pressing the power switch minus supplies the tip with battery negative for applying a redundant ground to bad ground circuits. The power probe hook has three power switch behaviors. Momentary, latch, and pulse. Momentary is the power probe hook default. It works like this. Press the power switch and power is supplied to the tip. Release the power switch and power ceases. To hold power on the probe tip so you don't have to continuously hold the power switch, set the power switch preference to latch like this. Press select, down, right, select. Notice the L in the preference line right after the circuit breaker trip point. Now press the power switch. To cease power, press the power switch again. To pulse a circuit with power, set the power switch preference to pulse like this. Press select, down, right, until the screen shows pulse. Press select. Notice the P in the preference line. Press the power switch and the power is pulsed in half second increments to the probe tip. Turn it off by pressing the power switch again. It also works the same when applying ground to the probe tip. Now when you disconnect the power lead from the battery and then you reconnect it, the power probe hook defaults back to its original preferences. Now if you want to keep your custom settings, do this. Press select and then the up button twice. The display reads save pref. Press the right button once and then select again. To reset your preferences back to factory default, do the same thing as I just showed you. Just choose reset back to default and then yes, then press select. Now there are still more features of the power probe hook that we have not explained in this video. So for more information, please read the instruction manual that came with your power probe hook. You can also go to our website, powerprobe.com and watch more instructional videos on the power probe hook as they become available. If you have any questions or suggestions, please give a call or drop us an email. Thanks for watching.